Welcome back to Spank Ranch Garage. Tonight's project is some custom toolboxes for my flatbed. I've been keeping an eye out for some weather guard type topside boxes for a while now. Uh, they seem to be pretty pricey, used, you know, they're always a couple hundred bucks. So I was at the junkyard one uh, Saturday morning. I found a pair of these for 50 bucks a piece. They're beat, don't get me wrong. Uh, bottoms are rusty. I actually got to do some sheet metal work on the other one. This one's got a big old dent on top of it. I'll hammer that out. But either way, two legitimate eight foot weather guard boxes for hundred bucks for the pair. I couldn't say no. However, we're not just going to leave it here. Um, I'm going to customize these. I don't want an eight foot box. I want two double decker four foot boxes. So these boxes are perfect since they're already kind of damaged. I'm going to fix them up, cut them up, weld them together. And then if we're lucky, I'm going to salvage this upper toolbox that I took out of the trash yesterday. Weld it inside one of these so I have some tool drawers and some other organization ideas. Still a couple marks here, but it's a truck toolbox. I'm probably gonna bang it up worse than it was, so whatever. I'm gonna cut this box up and steal the slide plates out of it. And we're gonna weld them into the weather guard box. Two and two, hopefully. It's two drawers next to each other. Looks like that'll fit kind of nice. Typical Spank Ranch fashion here. I'm gonna do this all with stuff I have laying around. This is a cover off an old furnace. It's already got a rolled edge on it and a 90 bent into it, which would be perfect. Now we got this little piece, rolled the lip up top, nice and smooth, everything's pretty stiff. And then it's gonna drop in here, like so. And then our drawer brackets will weld to this. Making a little progress here. Bottom drawer, top drawer. These things are absolutely perfect size. They utilize the entire depth of the box. So now I'm gonna do the same exact thing. Two more drawers here. Here's that top shelf. This is really becoming a project of how much of the original toolbox can I reuse? I don't have any sheet metal working tools, so when I find something that's already got a nice lip on it or whatever, let's reuse it. So I'm gonna burn these together and that'll lay in across the top drawers. So we're making some progress here. Here's where we stand. Bottom four drawers are mounted. This uh, tray across the top has added insane amount of rigidity to the whole thing. These drawers no longer have any play no matter what. So I did just cut a weather guard box in half, which definitely feels squeamish. But anyway, I only want a four foot box. So this is what we're doing. So anyway, 
I'm gonna cut a pleat, totally cap this. Obviously I can finish weld some of this because I can get in there. And then I got my upper tray. I ended up putting some dividers in here. All my drawers are good to go. So I wanna weld that together, patch a couple holes in the bottom of the box, make it airtight, and then I can tear it down and paint it. Make this look like less of a piece of crap. Got some cleanup to do with the slag. Now this is diamond plate. I know it doesn't match, but the flatbed I'm putting this on is diamond plate. So this is actually gonna look like it was meant to be. And I am pretty stoked on that cut because that is spot on. Got this end plate all fitted, fully welded and grinded. Really a lot of work for like an overgain, but whatever. This is wildly solid. The box is now watertight. I patched up any other holes on it. First coat of paint's done, <clears throat> looks okay, but she's got some fish eyes. I'm just hitting it with some oil-based Rust-Oleum. Uh, like I said, this is going on my truck, which I'm gonna beat the crap out of. So uh, it's just gonna go downhill from here, but at least I'd like to start with some decent paint for rust prevention and all that. Like most of my projects, I kind of got to a certain point on this and stopped. So anyway, since I filmed last, got all the drawers back in here. I started populating it with some tools. Um, I want to put drawer liners in this and a couple other things. So let's get this thing emptied out and tidy her up. Drawer liners are in. Started loading up the pools. This is like main socket area. Um, you know, quarter inch standard metric. You know, Allen's, Torx, adapters, ratchets, extensions. <clears throat> this drawer is going to be uh, 3 8 and some half inch sockets. Don't really have anything to put in there yet. Squeeze tools over here, some random stuff, plenty of room left. This is all electrical stuff, so I got butt splices, you know, stake cons, all that crap. Crimper, stripper, some test leads, test light, whatever. And the upper shelves here, I just kind of have miscellaneous stuff. I got drill bits, a clamp, markers screwdrivers whatever over here is the longer stuff so like uh, you know pry bars breaker bars hammers bigger items like that got this cheapy set of wrenches here there's a huge variety of sizes here that'll pretty much do most of the stuff i need to get me out of a pinch a feature that i added to this which i think would be really helpful is i put leds inside the box so when you're working at night you, know, you don't have to have your phone out. You can just turn that light on and you can at least see what you're doing here, right? Just a little light that runs on triple A's. It's for like a closet, but it just hides up in there and uh, allows you to see instead of having to bring out your phone or you're probably working with a flashlight anyway, but I think it's just a cool thing to have. Final thing I'm doing is changing out the lock cylinders for cylinders that I have a key for. And I actually have six of these and I have uh, six boxes on my truck. So that's perfect. I got these from a junkyard out of a utility truck. I found the key in the passenger compartment, grabbed them all. So now I can have all six boxes on my truck actually locking, which is a new feature. So she's closed, lock her up. 
Not going anywhere. Give her the old one lock. And we're in there. Keeps the honest people out. Makes me feel a little better. That's about it. I'm gonna throw two of these desiccant bags in here. Uh, just the thought is the box is pretty well watertight. I've sealed up all the holes, but you will get humid air in there from time to time that could condense on the tools. So these are reusable desiccant packs. I'll give them a try. Might not ever need them, might need them. It is pretty humid here on the East Coast at times, so can't hurt, I guess. All right, guys, that's all I got for this episode. This was an interesting one. You know, I took a box that was basically at the end of its life, uh, very cheap, and a Craftsman toolbox I picked out of the trash, combined the two, and I have a really nice, functional truck toolbox, kind of like what I would like to buy if I were to buy one. Um, but I got to configure it, you know, kind of the way I want to. And this costs me 50 bucks total for this box. I still have this one to go and I have a whole nother box outside if I wanted to go with four boxes, but I won't be. Uh, this one, I don't think I'm gonna put drawers in it. I think I'm gonna keep it more open for big things like chainsaw, um, you know, straps, chains, things like that. Uh, so kind of left, what I'm picturing is left side of my truck, you know, right behind the driver's door. I got all my tools that I use more frequently. Passenger side of the truck, keep the bigger items over there, things I don't use as frequently. <clears throat> and then uh, I'll make a future video of me actually mounting this to the flatbed. The flatbed already has four other boxes built into it. So uh, between this tool organization here, this side box and the four boxes built into my truck, I'm able to keep quite a bit of stuff to uh, do stuff in a variety of situations. Anyway, thanks for watching Spank Ranch Garage. See you next time.